only all local morning news. Fox 2 News Morning starts now. A group of Michigan College students is shining a bright light on solar technology. The Fox E-Team visited Lawrence Tech where they are building a solar powered house from scratch. Robin Schwartz has the story. It's a decathlon unlike any other under the sun. These students at Lawrence Technological University in Southfield are in the midst of a construction marathon. They're racing to build a solar powered home that generates enough juice to run appliances, lights, heating and cooling and other modern conveniences. The only power source we were allowed was the sun. We wanted this home when you walked in it to really feel like you could live here. And it will. When this solar house is finished, it'll be roughly 700 square feet with a living room, bathroom, two bedrooms and a full kitchen. Here will be where all of our kitchen cabinets and our refrigerator and everything will be. So this is the back area of the kitchen. Tina Spann, who just graduated with a degree in architecture, gave us the tour. This house will be judged against 19 other solar creations from universities around the world. The Lawrence Tech team calls its design the Aloterra House, which means to soothe the earth. And that's exactly what it does. These solar panels harness the sun's power, eliminating the need for coal-fired power plants like this one which burn fossil fuels and can be bad for the environment. The technology's here. Look, it's doable. This house is completely off the grid. There is no power coming into it. It's self-contained and it's actually an energy positive house, which means that it produces more energy than it uses. The extra energy can be used to charge an electric car. And the house has other energy efficient features from inverters that convert the sun's energy into electricity to a special radiant flooring, which turns solar power into heat. It even works when the sun doesn't shine. With excess energy from the sun, we store it in batteries. So we actually use the batteries on less sunnier days to power the house. The students carefully planned every last detail, including the placement of these doors and windows. That's because the way the light moves through the house and the way the air circulates will determine how much energy is needed for heating and cooling. All the technology in the house had to be on market by the time of the competition. It all had to be readily available to the general public. And that's the beauty of it. The students say this isn't a house of the future. It's something any family could live in today. This is an artist's rendering of the finished product. And amazingly, this whole house comes apart. The students had to build it that way to transport it to Washington, D.C. for the competition. We have to make sure that these things can come apart and when we bring them back together, that's all going to be watertight, that's going to be airtight so that um, we don't have any leaks in the house, you're not losing heating and cooling loads. A house like this costs about $220,000, but it's fair to say utilities are included as long as the sun oh, yeah. hangs in the sky. We're not paying anything for power, we're completely off the grid. so. The, the money you spend up front is paid off, you know, in the long run by all the energy you save. During the competition, the house will be judged in 10 different categories, including architecture, engineering and comfort. Construction wraps up in the next few weeks and the solar decathlon sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy takes place in October. By the way, the city of Troy bought the house and will eventually put it on display. With the Fox Energy Report, I'm Robin Schwartz.